You know, my son told me a year ago that he was going to play a video game and pay for his college tuition. I'm really excited about that. <laughs> uh, I think it's the most amazing thing ever. Like, I never really got into March Madness basketball, but I'm here with like my friends. Like, we're yelling at the TV, and we have guests I have no idea, and they're like, "What's going on?" Like, I'm that guy now. Like, <laughs> talking about my game. Last uh, last summer, I started playing, and I did my placement matches. I qualified at like rank 35 or something like around that way. I was terrible. Like, real, dumpster league. I was like, well, I can play. I, I watch. I learn. I learn. I, you know, I talk to people. And now look at me. I'm on the. I, I guess they called it earlier the the biggest stage in collegiate esports. Like me? No way. And it, I'm, I'm here, and I still don't believe it. I think every single year it's picking up momentum, and I think that's going to continue. You see the crowd here tonight is ridiculous. It's it's actually bigger than I expected. Uh, and you know, you hear about it on the radio and stuff now too. You see it on. Uh, it's moving up in the ESPN. You know, it's ESPN two this year, I think. So it keeps going up and up. You know. Yeah, yeah, we're, oh, yeah. We're, we're pretty, we're pretty we're good. We do our homework, done. so yeah, we do. We, we talk about this just like sports fans talk about, you know, sports, which, you know, not esports, but yeah. I mean, we had a, a party last weekend for the Globals, so instead of a Super Bowl party, we had a Globals party, so it was fantastic. I've been following since StarCraft II, the scene kind of blew up in like 2011, 2012, and so then I followed Heroes of the Storm since its beginning. I had like a beta key, so I've been playing for a while. I watched it before I ever played it. And so when I first played, I'm like, wait, I can't see all the characters. And so it, it was just, it was really interesting. But I feel like the way that they show it is pretty true to how the game works, even though it's not true to how it's like played individually. I could see it become a bigger industry and I hope it does because it's just as exciting and it's indoors. So I, I personally enjoy this way more than any baseball or basketball or football game. And maybe that's because you know, I know someone that's playing, but even watching these matches, not knowing any of the players, not really having a team to root for, it's still very exciting to watch. I met a ton of friends here, and something I realized, like once you get this experience once, I'm like, I can't, this isn't over. I gotta be, I gotta come back. And uh, whether it's as a player, as a coach, as a, you know, a, a, a pro team, another, or getting into casting, behind the scenes work, whatever it is, like, I've become really passionate about this now, so I'm I'm probably going to become very heavily involved in the future. Actually, I haven't played this as much. I but I played StarCraft, StarCraft II, Diablo, WarCraft II, and then World of WarCraft. But none of that was really a sport. The whole esports thing has happened new, and it's really amazing. Actually, I think it's I think it's great. It is interesting to watch the different. You know, when Mike plays, you know, they do much better when they're disciplined. You know, it's just like any other sport. They each have their own role, they each are playing their own little section of it. And you need to be where you are, you need to stay together. And if you don't, and the teams that don't, they fall apart. It's a lot of teamwork, but it's also just executing the plan you have. Making sure that you don't overreach, taking advantage of what you can, but it's it's being it's being disciplined. Which which is the father, it's a great thing for my son to learn. I would love for any of the teams. I mean, I'm I'm just happy to be here, love love the whole thing that we have going on and I'm sure everyone who loses is going to feel really bad, but then they'll come back around and be like, well, still a great experience, still so much fun, and uh, whoever wins is definitely going to earn it. What, what's also really good about esports is that it doesn't take much to be able to participate. You know, you don't have to be, you don't have to have won the genetic lottery, you know, that you're going to be a great basketball player, a great football player. You can play all these games, and you can participate, and it's, it's, with, with the, what ESPN is doing and some of the other streaming channels and other places, a lot of people can now participate. It's, it's actually kind of amazing what the internet has done to open everything up.